the divisive divorce of Lauren, Pumpkin, Efford, and Josh Efford, what it means for their children and family dynamics. The recent divorce of Lauren, Pumpkin, Efford, and Josh Efford has been one of the most talked about topics among Mama June, family crisis fans. After six years of marriage and almost a decade of being together, Pumpkin and Josh's separation came as a shock to many, especially given how supportive they had appeared on the show, particularly when navigating the difficult circumstances surrounding Pumpkin's sister Anna Cardwell's tragic death. But now, with the legal proceedings finalized and their futures taking separate paths, the questions surrounding their co-parenting arrangement, the well-being of their four children, and the overall impact of the split on the extended family continue to mount. Here's a closer look at the complex, evolving dynamics between Pumpkin, Josh, and their children, as well as the twists and turns of their post-divorce life. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag the divorce settlement, joint custody and financial arrangements. As fans of the show know, the drama within the Shannon family often plays out in the public eye, but few saw the breakdown of Pumpkin and Josh's marriage coming. The two were married in June 2018, and their relationship seemed to be strong, especially with the couple frequently showing support for each other on the reality series. However, things behind the scenes were different, and by August 2024, Pumpkin filed for divorce, stating that their marriage was irretrievably broken. This legal decision marked the end of their six-year union, leaving many fans wondering about the details of their separation and what it would mean for their four young children, Ella, Stella, Silas, and Bentley. According to legal documents obtained by the Ashley and other media outlets, Pumpkin and Josh agreed on a joint custody arrangement for their children, both legal and physical. This means that both parents have equal say in important decisions regarding their children's lives, such as schooling, medical care, and extracurricular activities. The arrangement seems to be amicable, as the couple reportedly agreed to a parenting plan without much contention. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag financial terms of the divorce. Big money, no child support. In an interesting development, both Pumpkin and Josh have declared that they are each earning a substantial income, $20,000 a month, according to the court's child support worksheet. This revelation has raised eyebrows, as the former reality TV stars are clearly doing well financially, which may have influenced the court's decision to waive child support payments. Since both parents are financially stable, the court determined that neither party should pay child support to the other. Instead, they are required to equally share the costs associated with their children's medical expenses that are not covered by insurance, as well as any costs for their schooling or extracurricular activities. This financial arrangement speaks to the relatively amicable nature of the split. Both parties seem to have agreed that their children's needs will be met without the need for child support, which is often a contentious issue in divorce cases. The fact that both parents are financially well-off could also play a role in making the co-parenting situation smoother, as there is less stress over monetary concerns. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag the parenting plan, a balanced custody schedule. One of the key aspects of the divorce settlement is the joint parenting plan. Pumpkin and Josh have agreed to discuss and make decisions together regarding important matters in their children's lives, including their schooling, religious upbringing, medical needs, and extracurricular activities. However, the court gave Pumpkin the final say on issues related to the children's schooling and medical care if the parents are unable to come to a mutual agreement.